child that was taken has returned, the flesh of my earth. You, by simply coming into being, have tangled the strings of destiny of all the other children. I am he, the own and on me three demand. I have followed each of your steps since your arrival. I hail you, Enon Miel Frichtemen. I have come to you to find a remedy. A cure for the disease of a distant land. Her affliction was to be poisoned by her own children. Her veins rot in stagnant water. Her earth now bears poisoned fruit and her children wither and die. They could be taught by my children. Learn to give back in return. Learn to heal. But for that, I must survive. I have seen by your side the shadow grow, taking form. To save his own life, he stole my strength. And that strength has driven him mad, because it is not made to be taken. I don't understand. Who are you talking about? The one you call Constantine. You must stop him, or there will be no cure anymore for anything or anyone. That... that's impossible. How could that be? You must leave, now. Someone has followed your footsteps. Someone has entered here without invitation. My children are waking and tracking. They will attack all of us. Flee, or you will be dead. I saw a man running out of the sanctuary, and I heard the cries of creatures inside. Is everything all right? Did you manage to get the answers you were expecting? Yes. He told me that the Malachor had appeared because of the way the Colonials have treated the Earth. It's actually some kind of... poisoning. And it would be possible to cure it, but I'm not sure that I understood how. Words that come from the heart of the island carry with them a wisdom which may sometimes be difficult to grasp. If you need help, I would be glad to be of assistance. My clan knows how to heal the earth. Thank you, Dunkus. I suppose I just need time to think. You haven't told me everything, have you? There appears to be a storm weighing down on your forehead. It is true. But it is something I must verify by myself. I see. Do not hesitate to come and find me if I can help you. Qua aulum secarans. Goodbye. Constantine. My dear cousin, I'm always happy to see you. What news do you bring? We managed to solve the problem of the attacks on San Mateus. Really? So, what was causing them? The city and its outposts were continuously being attacked by animals. These beasts were led by a large creature that strangely resembled a mountain guardian. This is the same creature which High King Vinbar turned into, isn't it? Exactly. Except it looked sick and it didn't act like the High King did. It was calling the animals around it, and it seemed like it was transferring its disease to them before making them attack. I have never seen anything like it. And there's more. Hikmet was in a similar situation. Do you remember? Of course. Don't tell me that a guardian was involved there as well. Yes. The governor was convinced that the attacks were led by the islanders. And yet they were being attacked as well. And it was by their side that I fought the creature. That time it was a Nardai Glenderman a beach guardian, but it seemed just as sick. 
and it was also manipulating the animals to make them aggressive. So, it would be some kind of epidemic affecting the Guardians. I don't see what we can do about it. Actually, I think you've already done what had to be done by eliminating those that were threatening our neighbors. Perhaps. But I'm certain there's more to it than a simple epidemic. These beasts attack in a coordinated fashion, which requires an intelligence that they don't have. You're exaggerating, dear cousin. The attacks you thought were coordinated may just have been coincidental. You may be right, but I can't help thinking that someone is behind all this. Do you really believe that a Danegad would want to take over the island? Cousin, you know how much I respect you, but frankly, this doesn't seem very coherent. But I see it's already quite late. If you'll excuse me, dear cousin. Regrettably, I must leave you. Where are you going? Not very far, rest assured. But I have a small personal matter to take care of, you see. Don't be concerned. There's absolutely no risk. Use the opportunity to take some rest. You've really performed miracles recently. See you later. I don't like this at all. What could he be doing outside every night? Normally, I would have said getting drunk at the tavern. But clearly, that isn't the case. I'm starting to believe that the revelations of Enon Miel Frichtemann had some truth to them. Let's rummage through his papers. We may find a clue. Constantine, what are you doing? Cousin, you're here. I, I, I would have preferred that you learn all of this another way, to be able to reveal everything to you in better circumstances. But whatever power we earn, there are some things that escape us. I have no idea what you're talking about, but what are you doing here? I seem monstrous to you. I am well aware of that. But I promise to explain everything when the moment is right. Then you will understand. You will see. The temptation is so great to share all with you right now, but I still have more to do. Forgive me and have patience. Hold them back, but do not kill him for anything in the world. I think I told this spoiled brat how to wield a weapon, and now he's throwing beasts at us. He's gone mad. It's the only explanation. Move away! Things are about to get dicey! Stop. Things are about to get dicey! Stop. Things are about to get dicey! Stop. Flesh of my air. Help me. You saw him do it, didn't you? You saw him draw from me. Steal my children. My guardians. Pervert my force. Yes, but I don't understand. What he wants. Eternity. Strength. Power. He wasn't like that. He couldn't care less about all that. Then it is the sickness, the brevity of his existence, that terrified him to the point it changed who he is. You must stop him. Each time that he bonds, he destroys me a little more. And with me, the hope for a cure. You must kill him. It is madness. I still can't believe this. I understand what you feel. I have trouble believing it myself. We must learn more if we want to understand his plans and prepare against them. If in his folly he remembered just a small bit of what I taught him, then he shall warn his guard to be ready for us. We will need to be discreet and find ourselves allies. You're thinking of all the creatures that he has perverted. A veritable army. Precisely. 
And against an army, we will need soldiers. The natives will follow you because their god has ordered it. We might also be able to count on help from the Norts. We'll need to speak to their admiral. We should also be able to count on Sieglinde. Her troops will be all the more welcome. And of course, we can also go and find the Mother Cardinal, as well as Governor Buren. <sighs> what an absurd project. Let us go. We need to put an end to all of this. What brings you here on Omanawi? I came to ask for your help in stopping my cousin, Dunkus. My cousin was sick, and to cure him, Katasach used the bonding ritual on him. But the power he received from it made him mad, and he started bonding himself in other places. What you're telling me is terrifying. Katasak and Devoshtire should never have bonded him. I cannot fight him alone. I need allies. Your will to create an alliance between all the peoples on this island is wise and noble. We will be by your side in the battle. I am not a fighter, but Dedra will lead our warriors. Thank you, Dunkus. Don't thank me. You manage to earn my people's trust, and you fight for a cause that affects us all. Desarde, what can I do for you? I have come to ask for your help, Admiral. My cousin has been plunged into madness, and he apparently wishes to conquer the whole island. A difficult situation, admittedly, but one that does not concern us. It actually does concern you. If my cousin takes control of the island, soon there will be no ports where your ships can berth. He's not looking for political influence. He desires power. Absolute power. I already have the support of other factions, but I was hoping I could count on the help of the Norts. You can. My men aren't really used to fighting on land, but they will be by your side. You have proven time and time again that we can trust you. Thank you, Admiral. May the winds be in your favor, Desarde. You'll need all the help you can get. Hello, Commander. Lord Desarde, how can I be of service to you? I have come to ask for your help. I'm at your service, Your Excellency. What is it you want from me? We need reinforcements to protect the sanctuary of the islanders. North of the island. Very well. I will send some troops there. But may I ask who or what they will be fighting? Creatures, in great numbers. And probably my cousin. I beg your pardon? Ever since he was cured of the Malachor and bonded to the island, he has become obsessed with power. I have indeed heard reports of the Governor's peculiar behavior. If you're telling me that we are in danger and that we need to go to this sanctuary, we'll go. Thank you, Commander. Anything else? Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sardé, what can I do for you? Do you remember I thought that someone must have been responsible for the attacks you sustained? You're hesitating. Are you afraid of my reaction? Indeed. As the person responsible is none other than my cousin, Constantine. Uh, does this mean that the congregation has decided to wage war on us? His thirst for power is making him want to control the island entirely by himself. I won't stand a chance against all the creatures he's taken control of. And I need some help. Others have already joined me, but we also need the support of Teleme. You can count on our help. My men will fight by your side. Thank you, Your Eminence. Thanks to your wisdom, we have a chance to prevail. Greetings. I hope I'll soon receive the book I ordered. The boat coming from Al Saad should arrive shortly. The university's literature is as instructive as ever. Your Excellency, Lord Dusade, and to what do I owe this honor? I have come to solicit your help and to propose we forge an alliance. An alliance? Against whom? You remember, no doubt, the attacks that fell upon Hakmed, but also San Mateus, and against the natives. Of course. You told me that different guardians sent the beasts. This revelation will not please you, but I have no choice but to tell you. It is Constantine. Surely you jest. What is the meaning of this? Allow me to continue, I beg you. My cousin's sickness shook him to the core. Then there was a ritual and his capture. And Constantine has fallen into madness. It is in the name of the congregation that I come to see you. Constantine betrayed us as well. Let us be clear. 
I don't believe for an instant that this story has a link to the island or whatever foolishness, but I do trust you. You have rendered us valuable services and have supported us. And since we cannot allow the crimes of your cousin to go unpunished, we will stand beside you. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you. You have improved our chances of success tenfold. I'm way too busy. Sorry. <laughs>